Hi, my name is Keith Douglas from Fresh Group Products. Uh, today's video is about uh, Chapman ATV flail mower, of which there are two sizes. There is a 1.2 meter cutting width, which this one is, and then a 1.5 meter cutting width, or well, that's a four foot or five foot in old money. Um, so, uh, this is a, an overview video, so it's just to run through the product with you. I'm going to start off with talking about the engine. So that's what supplies the power. So we use a Honda commercial grade engine. This is a GX630, that's a 630cc engine with a 21 horsepower output performance and it's a V-twin engine. Um, if the camera would like to come round a bit closer to this side. Um, the other things worth mentioning about this engine, you get a three years warranty and that's backed worldwide by Honda. It has a built-in oil alert system, so if it's low on oil it won't start, so that's a protection factor to the engine. And the other point is it has an oil uh, pump built, built in within it, so it's not splashing oil around, it's pumping oil around, which if you're operating this on rough ground, which quite typically flail mowers are, that's an important feature. And it just has a, a superb reputation for durability and performance. So that's the engine. If the camera would like to go all the way around to the other side, um, not a lot to talk about with the auto tension belts, but, it, but two important points. We use uh, high quality BX41 toothed or cogged belts, if you wish. Um, these belts are set up on an auto tension system that James Chapman has uh, designed for this mower. Um, You'll see that we have plenty of aeration because obviously that's where when the mower is performing in the summer months and when it's going through heavy vegetation so it's got good aeration around it to protect the bouts from getting hot. Um, you know we, we understand that that's not always the case with other mowers on the market. So uh, moving on from the bout system, uh, we can't show you them but the clutch pack system on this mower, uh, if you watch the woodland mower video um, taken about three, three and a half years ago, you'll see this, this uh, ATV flail mower as a 1.5 actually on the hammer flails, cutting down very, very thick, heavy woodland vegetation, brambles, uh, down to the ground in one go. Since then, the clutch packs have been um, manufactured. James has uh, manufactured them to his own specification, got a German company doing it, and we've got a 40% increase in the mower since that video. So if you watch that video and take that into account, you're getting a 40% improvement on performance. Okay, so really going down from the clutch packs, um, so the engine, the belt system, the clutch packs, and then going into the actual mower itself, you've got the rotor arm, uh, I'm going to lift the mower up in a moment, uh, it'll be quite heavy so I'll only be able to lift up for so long. You, if you look at the size of the rotor, and bear in mind that the rotor that you're going to see is centre weight and dynamically balanced, what we call G63 dynamically balanced, and you'll also notice that the cutting blades, this one has Y flails on it, um, you can also have forged hammer flails. Uh, they are on a double helix system which when you combine all of the facts that I've mentioned a superior cutting ability. So I'll just hold it, hold it back while the camera goes underneath if you can see that okay. So you'll notice the size and heavy duty-ness of the, the rotor. The Y flails are high density cotton steel so if you look at that um, when you're ever looking at different t options of makes of mowers, you'll notice that again it's very high specification when it comes to the cutting blades. Um, I'll walk around the back if the mower, if the camera stays there. And this is the Y flails. If you can see that, these are the Y flails, and these are the forged hammer flails with more of a cutting edge. And if you call us, we can advise you on what is the best cutting blade for different operations. Okay, if the camera would like to come round to the back. So at the back, we have a deflector plate, which has different positions that you can set it to. By law, you have to have this on. I have noticed um, when you look online, you see some of these removed, but obviously 
strictly speaking that shouldn't be the case. We have a full rip rotor roller as well and that is for rough ground and anti-scalping. Um, then if you can just get a shot on the wheels you'll notice on our mower we use a very large low ground impact type wheel. Uh, again we feel that that's quite unique to our mower. Um, you've got a 10 litre fuel capacity and um, petrol driven and you've got a, an automatic kill so it's all round up now but you have to have that by law so that would fit on if you was using an ATV quad bike and if you have an, uh, any instance you can kill the engine by hitting that button. Uh, this down here is the battery underneath this cover and um, okay so oh the drawbar so this is a swivel hitch we fit a jockey wheel for all our topper mowers and flail mowers for our customers and to adjust the height you have a toggle arm here so dependent on the ball hitch height on your vehicle you may uh, you'd use that to adjust to suit because what you want to do is have the mower in a level position as it is here if you look from the side where I am if the camera can go out and just catch me so if you can see me in the shot I'm looking at the side of the mower and the engine is dead vertical so that's how you would set the draw bar up to your towing vehicle and then if the cam would like to come in so if we look here at the t-bar and if it comes over the top you can see this configuration here so basically that means that you can offset the draw bar which means when you're towing and you want to push the mower out to one side or the other you can do it with this design and then if the camera comes up to where I am now you'll see this is the height adjustment now so it doesn't unwind itself we have an R clip and then I'll hold the mower because it's not hooked to a vehicle but this is how you heighten it or lower it. Okay, so we'll pop that back in and pop that in its hole. Um, I think really that covers the mower overall. So I hope you enjoyed that video. It was just a product walkthrough. Uh, we will be doing other videos on this machine and other Chapman products and other Fresh Group products. If you have any questions, uh, please do contact us and we'll be happy to help. Thank you. Hope you found that uh, video informative please subscribe to our channel or share with any friends or colleagues and um, we will send future videos out for our channel and we hope you enjoy them thank you